As you walk around the town of Jizre pretty quickly, you see the effect of days of violence here. This building has been pretty much completely burnt out. You can see the uh, soot marks that remain in front, the bullet holes of intense fighting, and then here, a makeshift barricade of sandbags that lies partially destroyed. This was all part of an operation by the Turkish police to flush out what they say were militants from a hotbed of PKK activity, as they call Jizre. The police say that of those who died, only one was a civilian uh, and that 30 militants died. But the locals say that actually the 21 people who were killed in this operation over the last few days were all civilians. There's also been days of curfew as we've walked through the town. We've seen rubbish piling up, the stench of rubbish, as the town has been sealed off by the police. And if you just look on this side of the road, you can see yet more bullet holes, shrapnel marks, a sign of the intense fighting that engulfed Jizre over the last few days. As locals put up resistance to the police operation, flames engulfed parts of this street. You can see the soot that still li lies here. Petrol bombs were thrown as the clashes intensified and still poised on street corners. A pretty heavy police presence. They don't want us to film, clearly, as the armoured vehicles, vehicles are poised, ready to move in if, ne if they're called to do so. We're just going to move away a little bit because they clearly don't want us to film there. Southeastern Turkey has been gripped by a very worrying spiral of volatility, and Jizre is at its heart.